So hey guys, welcome back to a new video and as you guys have seen the title, this video is going to be the basics of Android customization or personalization. I will be guiding you through the process of making custom looking super cool functional setups for your Android device. As this topic is a bit hard to digest, I will be making it into parts. So this is the part 1, the true basics of Android customization. These are the methods that I use to make my device look super nice for my videos. It doesn't actually mean you need to be a content creator to customize your phone. If you want beautiful, elegant, unique and fresh look, then this is your option. So as usual, we are having promo codes throughout this video. So stick with me to the very end. We are also doing a weekly series on best apps, games, tips and tricks, wallpapers and ring and notification tones on every Saturday. So if you guys want to check the same out, click the card that pops or the links are left free in the description for you. So to see more of this amazing content weekly, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get notified every single time we upload a video. So once again, my name is Neville, you're watching this on Neville Studios and without no further ado, let's move on to the video. So the basic question is what is Android customization or personalization? So if you look onto a smartphone, it has a definite look, like the Realme phones has a unique roundish look, while on the other hand, Xiaomi phones has a flat icons with tons of animations and fluidity, and this keeps varying from phone to phone. And that means all the people who has the same phone or the same brand has a similar look which is a bit old school. Customization deals this issue. Android is an operating system which gives the users the flexibility to change almost anything on the device. That means you don't have to stick to what you have. You can make good looking eye catching looks on your home screen, unique to yourself. So starting off with, you need 3 basic kinds of applications which is a minimum must for Android customization. 1. A wallpaper app. 2. KWGT or Super Widget Pro, which I'll explain to you later in this video. And 3. Some widget packs. So some of you pro users might be wondering why am I not mentioning launchers and icon packs. Guys, this is a really basic tutorial and we'll cover the advanced features in the next video. So let's move on with customizing our device. So the basic step in customization is choosing a proper wallpaper to match your setup. You can use anything from abstract to live to even your photos. But if you need some quality wallpapers which has decent amount of clarity, you should probably get a wallpaper app. And my recommendation is Stokey Pro. And the reason is because I have not tried or used something this unique in my entire life. This wallpaper app is heaven. It has a wide range of wallpapers and it gets frequent updates too, which is really a big deal. You can even find the Mac OS Big Sur inspired wallpapers in here. The app itself is gorgeous, the UI and the user experience is so fluid that I can't feel like leaving it. One of the great features that I would love to mention is that you can create your own gradient wallpaper which is totally cool. If you are going for a certain look then this could be really handy. You can add 5 colors at a time and even change the appearance direction. It also has linear, radial and sweep patterns. You can also log in with your account to save your favorites and to access your walls with multiple devices. One of my next favorite feature is changing the wallpaper periodically. This is rarely seen functional on a wallpaper app so it's a plus point. You can set conditions like when the walls should change like on or off Wi-Fi or charging. You can also set should the wallpapers be scrollable or fit to the sender. There are several more features you can check out. See how feature packed this app is, but to be frank these are not the features that caught my eye. Editing the wallpapers or customizing them is something that everyone who likes to set up a look dream for and this app gets you covered. Yes, you can play around with blur, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation and RGB controls. You will never be limited to a single color or a single look. And among these, one thing that I noticed is how the brightness changes. Rather than dimming the wallpaper to pitch black and pure white, this app uses a brilliant algorithm to retain the scene or look of a particular wallpaper. Just see for yourself. It's not decreasing the opacity, rather brilliantly adjusting the highlights and shadows to give it a dark and bright look, which made me go wow. So this is a paid wallpaper app and it's really worth the price. But thankfully the developers were so generous enough in providing me with some promo codes for my subscribers. So all you have to do to get one is join our telegram group and ask for the promo code. Or else you're free to do the same on our Instagram page. Either one will work. And also don't forget in commenting down this video why did you like the app that made you want a promo code for it. I'll pick the winners on the first come first serve basis. We are also having more promo codes throughout this video so stick with me to the very end. And also I'll be updating the amount of promo codes remaining via the video description. It doesn't actually mean you need this app or a wallpaper app but these are the best options. I'm using this app to generate my wallpaper for the look I'm planning to achieve. You can also choose your favorite wallpaper and follow along. I hope you are ready with your wallpaper or else feel free to pause the video and do the same. So 
So now as the wallpaper is done, the next step is to set up widgets and this is where the things get cold. Widgets are the main attraction and it's the key element in customization. So what is a widget? Most of you guys might think it's an artwork that can be placed on our home screen to give it a beautiful look. And you guys are not wrong, but there is more to this. A widget can also hide within it many unique features. Like for example, this one can control music playback and this one can also be used to search the web. See how interesting is it? So now let's set up some widgets. For that you need KWGT or Super Widget. You only need any one of them and my recommendation is KWGT and the reason is because it's more flexible and advanced than Super Widget and it also supports a wide range of beautiful widgets with awesome features. Yes, I know you guys might be confused on what these apps are if you're new to customization but I'll break it down for you. Imagine a utensil or vessel, what do we use it for? Yes, for storage, dishes, fruits and whatever it may be that can fit into the vessel can be placed within it, right? This is the same with our case. KWGT acts as a vessel or utensil that can hold our dishes and what are our dishes? Widgets. So let's make it simple. KWGT is a base application to hold our beautiful looking widget templates on the right place on our home screen. And there is more to this but as for now, this is what you need to grasp as a beginner. So to install all you have to do is go to the play store and search for KWGT and install the pro version. The free version is very limited and won't suit our needs but you can still try the same. Trust me guys, the paid version is worth every single penny, but you guys are lucky. Thanks to the developers, they were so generous enough in providing me with some promo codes for my subscribers. So you know what to do, this one is also on the list. So now the wallpaper is running via KWGT install and the next process is getting our widgets on place. So to get beautiful and elegant widgets, all you have to do is go to the play store and search for KWGT widgets and you will be greeted with tons of apps and all these apps have numerous number of widgets that you can try on. But in this video, we are concentrating on one for KWGT widget pack and the reason is because they have unique and functional widgets which are so elegantly made. So as I mentioned, you can follow along by downloading any other free widget packs that you can find on play store that's made for KWGT. And how do you find that? It will be probably beyond the name or else read the app's description. And yes, you heard it right, this is a paid app and they're also providing a free version as well so you can try the same if you're interested. Links in the description and also the developers were generous enough in providing some promo code so you know what to do. So this one is also on the list. So now we have the widgets installed as well. Let's get into customizing them. So to place a widget on your home screen, all you have to do is press and hold on the free area on your home screen until a menu pops up. This is same for almost every device out there so follow along. Then choose the widget icon and from the list that appears you'll have to scroll down to find KWGT. Now you can see a bunch of items there and those are the sizes of the widgets and that doesn't really matter. I'll explain why in a minute. Choose the one to the leftmost corner and press and hold it to bring to your home screen. And a side note, you need to have empty space on your home screen or else you can't place the widget. Now place the KWGT widget anywhere to your liking and you can also resize the same if you press and hold it again. And that's why I mentioned earlier that the size of the widget doesn't matter. You can always resize it. Choose a desirable size and after that all you have to do is tap on the widget to open up KWGT. And as I said earlier, inside the vessel you can see our items, our widgets. All you have to do is choose one for your liking. These are the widgets from 14KWGT and look how beautiful they are. Not just the beauty, they are also feature packed that can make your home screen look so dope. I am choosing this one for now and then hit the save button and go back to your home screen. There you go, you have placed your widget successfully on your home screen. And that is a minimal setup customized by you. And that's it, you have learned the basics of customization. There are tons of other options within the KWGT editor to tweak and customize your widget. We'll cover that in detail in another video. If you are new to customization, give it a try, don't feel lazy, you'll thank me later. This is the right time to start. I have a channel announcement to make. As for now, our last day of the Saturday series, we are having two apps and games each, followed by two awesome tricks, which will be concluded with two pleasant ringtones and notification tones. We are adding a new segment. We will be showcasing a cool look or a customized theme in each episode, which you can apply to rock for the exact same look for a week. So stay tuned for the awesome minimal entry Android setups coming your way. You can also share your setup with us to get featured. That's it guys for this video, hope you liked it, if so please share this video with your friends and family. Also thanks for watching, please do like this video and also subscribe if you are new here. Also click the bell button to get to us every single time we upload a video. Comment down your suggestions, we are always here and replying you. This channel is fully based on your support so please do show your love to the maximum. I put my heart and soul in making these videos so please do support us. This is me Neville, you are watching this on Neville Studios, that you have an amazing time ahead, signing out, peace.